What's up, guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, today, today we're gonna take it much, much slower, and we're going to actually do a home that is not incredibly large, where we can't even see the whole entire thing and today we're taking a look at the hunter's cabin of riverwood so the hunter's cabin of riverwood is a lore friendly free player home that's available to all players almost as soon as you start the game so it's perfect it's the perfect mod for those who want a beautiful simple yet functional home from the very beginning without feeling like you're breaking the lore too much so how do you get this house well there is a simple quest that is involved at the beginning of this this kind of player home thing and the only way you're going to do it is if you come up to the beginning of the house and on this table, there will be a blue note, or it's not blue, it was blue for me, but there will be a note known as the hastily written note. Read it, and it will tell you to go to Ember Shard Mine. Now, before we get too far into it, we are right here. Hunter's Cabin is right there, Riverwood is right there, Ember Shard Mine is right there, South Skybound Watch, Bleak Falls Barrow, and Secunda's Kiss, all within this area right here. And that's where we're at right there. Now, we need to go ahead and head into Ember Shard Mine and see about getting the key to the home. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and just run straight on through Ember Shard Mine because I believe the key is going to be at the end of Ember Shard Mine, right where, right where you'll find the Bandit Chief and stuff like that. Now let's see, we'll go ahead and just keep on running through. Don't even worry about the guys because they're probably going to try and kill me. Now let's see, Ember Shard Report. Let's see what that is, because I imagine that's what it's going to be. Can I just punch you to death, please, bro? Can I just get the key? Appreciate it if I can. <laughs> it's kind of fun being a god mode, just smacking the shit out of somebody, you know? Yeah, what do you want, boy? Let's see, do you have the key on you to get in there? Yes, you do. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and go inside of here. Now, let's see. Ember Shard Report? I believe that's what we need. I think. Let's see, there's a key next to it. Hunter's Cabin Key. So as you can see, straight in this little treasure room right here, you got this treasure chest, you have this kind of weapon area with some barrels, and then you have the key sitting right there. So now, now we can go ahead and just run on back to the house and check out the home. Okie dokie, so first things first, let's take a look at the exterior of the home. First thing I gotta say is this fits so well into just the surrounding area of Riverwood. I love the way the trees are sitting there, and it just looks so rustic, you know? I love it so freaking much. So, outside looks like we got ourselves a wood chopping block. Always nice to have in these little homes. Now, let's see. What else do we have outside here? We have a boat, just in case. <laughs> Obviously, for show. An outdoor cooking pot with some pheasant roast and cooked beef. Plus, I really like this walkway up. So, Riverwood is like at stone's throw from your home. But I love this little walkway up to your nice little cabin. Such a neat little spot. Now over here we have an archery target to go ahead and hone your archery skills before you head out into the wilds and the nature of Skyrim. Kind of a neat little spot up here as well. As well as a dummy to go ahead and smack the shit out of. Now let's see, what do we got right here? Cage door. I'm out of lockpicks. It seems there's a trap right here. Don't know what you would use that for. Obviously an animal, but maybe it's just for show. Got an anvil out front, as well as a pickaxe. Very, very nice. It's all it's very nice to have a pickaxe from the beginning of the game, you know? And let's see, the front door, you've got yourself a grindstone, a bench, a tanning rack. No smelter though, but then again, like I said, Riverwood is literally a stone's throw from your freaking house, and the smelter, I'm looking at it, you know, I'm looking at the building that has it, so it's just right there. So let's see, let's go ahead and head in. Oh yes, this is much more my style. Oh, I love this so freaking much, dude. I love the way the roof looks and the these kind of these beams that go across to hold the chandeliers. That looks nice. Plus, look at this skeleton, dude. That's creepy. Oh my god, that's terrifying, but that's amazing at the same time. Now let's see. Resist poison potion recipe. Very nice. Got a bed right here. You have a uh, a marksman art kind of an archery skill book right there. Now see, this is definitely much more my speed, you know? The castles that I showcased before, they're great, but I don't think I would be happy living in something as big as that, you know? I think this is definitely something more my speed. It's a very small home, and because it is indeed a starter house, you know? It gives you a bow, a hundred arrows, and a place to store all your stuff, a bedroom, or a bed, rather not a bedroom, a bed to get the well-rested bonus, 
and enough storage to keep all of your stuff in here until you find a bigger place, you know? Plus, it is a beautiful building, so if you just download this mod just to kind of have the building in Skyrim to kind of populate it um, as far as buildings and stuff like that, that's another reason why I love downloading homes, you know? It just adds structures to Skyrim to make it feel very much more lived in, you know? So it's definitely one of the more small mods, or the mo uh, one of the more small player homes, I should say, but does not lack character nor style, you know? It's kind of a neat little spot, especially if you're going to do kind of a lightly modded playthrough, not to where you've got the cheats and the big OP weapons and stuff like that. This is definitely a home that is quaint, it's functional, and it's stylish all at the same time, and it'll give you what you need, you know? So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's little mod showcase, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, I will see you in the next video.